great to be back in Las Vegas and at NAB 2022. We've got some very interesting new products uh, on the booth this year. Our Falcon frequency converters have really kind of caught people's imagination and that's become our fastest growing product line actually. So we've got our uh, KA, KU, X and L band frequency converters up and down. Uh, TLTs to go with them and SAT SIMs for uh, testing people's whole uh, RF system. So those are good and, uh, and we're showing those at the show today. Uh, and then the new Vortex matrix which we introduced this year, uh, really for up and down links, uh, routing systems for a variety of larger teleports and satellite operators. But I But I thought actually today we might talk about the future a bit more. Uh, Digital IF is something that we've been developing in conjunction with a European Space Agency funded project for about the last 18 months. And we're coming to our customer product trials later this year. And Digital IF really is an interesting new technology that's enabling the virtualization of satellite ground stations. So as well as uh, many sort of other benefits, the real disruption or the real disruptor about Digital IF is that it allows uh, spatial diversity, it allows ground, ground, uh, ground segment architecture and infrastructure on two different sites to be used together. And this really is quite a radical change for SATCOMs. So as well as enabling uh, virtualization for ground stations, it provides the operator with uh, more flexibility, uh, more resilience, uh, and the ability to um, scale more readily and to virtualize their teleports. If we talk about uh, digital IF and digitization a little bit more, as I said, it will allow simultaneous use of, uh, for example, antennas on two different geographical sites. And that gives amazing flexibility, but also continuity of operations. And this can be used, for example, to mitigate the impact of rain fade or of interference. And if we were to think about an analogy for that, uh, if I had a, an antenna which had capacity available on it in Central Europe at the moment, but all my modems or receiving equipment were in London, normally that would be a problem. With digital IF, I can link the two together and use them as if the modems were co-located with the antenna. Another analogy might be, really it's like a move from vinyl records to uh, streaming services for music. We don't need to all own our vinyl records anymore. So there's a trend in, in uh, satellite ground stations uh, and indeed satellite communications towards non-geo satellites, towards higher frequencies for the links to the satellites. And all of this is really pushing towards more seamless transition between where I'm using my ground infrastructure. And in turn, that's allowing for soft modems and virtualization. And I think digital IF is a really key part of that trend.